So he said that an eight-year-old, a heavyweight hogged show cob, presented with really acute falling leanness, one worse than the other. Um, just all of a sudden, absolutely fine the day before. Um, he was managed in such a way where he would have turned out, uh, but in a lot and fed an awful lot of like grain and haylage to keep them looking in that show condition. Um, but um, yeah, so this progressed to be worse over a 24 hour period. Um, so the vet attended the following day. This horse was barely able to turn. He was really shuffling, really toe pointing. And again, it came on so quickly. It was a really bad acute case. Um, so owner obviously willing to do absolutely anything. Um, the vet came, they treated it just with uh, just painkillers, first of all. They did an x-ray straight away because it was so painful. They didn't think they were going to be able to get it to stand on blocks. So it was left for 24 hours then just with a pain relief. Um, the farrier did take the shoes off, frog supports were put on, but he was really, he found it really difficult even to stand on one front foot when the other one was lifted. So he had to wear what the farrier called clogs in the beginning, completely wooden shoes, just to try and prevent that pedal bone coming through the sole. Um, okay. We were lasering through those shoes, by the way, so it was coming through the, the wooden shoe, through the capsule, and we were still getting an effect. So that's that's quite useful to know, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we started treatment with this horse at the end of January uh, and we decided that we were going to treat initially twice a week with a laser uh, for the first three weeks and then just reassess and go from there, which is what we did. Um, so like I said, he's still in half our shoes at the moment, but he is back in work uh, and he's hacking, gentle schooling. But the other thing I wanted to mention as well is even though we use the laser to treat the hooves, this horse had a lot of postural changes as well because of the way it was standing. So we were getting pain in other parts of the horse's body and he was just not happy for manual massage or palpation because he was uncomfortable and miserable. So I used the laser on a lot of the muscles in the back and the shoulders as well. So that's quite handy um, to have in your in your tool bag, really, if you, you know, a horse that's not really happy about the manual pressure. Yeah, or... yeah so his hamstrings were really, really tight. And again, that's a typical thing from a physio point of view. You see tight hamstrings and tight across the sacroiliac joint and the muscles there in a horse that's previously had laminitis because of that rocking back. But again, you get tight through the front of the shoulders as well from the toe point in. So mm. um, trying to keep trying to keep his posture and those muscles supple and out of pain, I think was quite important really to try and get him standing correctly again. Mm. So yes, it's dealing with the, the source of the pain, but you've got to deal with the compensatory sort of issues as well. But we find the laser good for just um, sort of softening and relaxing the animal before doing anything else as well. So using yeah. just on the equine settings, the acute pain setting, and using that through where acupuncture points through the spine and just applying that on a point space, just full contact with the probe. You just get that relaxation effect of the horse where they're almost in like a sedative state. And then he seemed happier for us to go on and we were doing that every time the vet wanted to do anything with his feet because it was working so well for him oh, so wow. we'd treat with the pain he would do things with his feet and then i'd go back in then and do some manual techniques with passive stretches and so we continued then with laser in the feet um twice a week for the month and then we dropped it to once a week and then he was having sort of manual body work in and physio with me every fortnight then uh, until he was able to start going out just in a non-grazing pen by himself. So six weeks after he was out in that non-grazing pen. But so by this point, we repeated the x-rays. He was off the boot, just in normal half our shoes. So I think six to seven weeks for that was, was pretty positive, really. He's now, as I said, end of January, started treating him. Um, he has had his, fi well, not final, but his most recent x-rays last week. Um, everything is settled. There's no further rotation. He's in basic heart bars now and he's back out on hacking work. We haven't got any lameness at all. So he's trotting up sound. We've watched him through the canter through the field. He's not in canter work being ridden yet, but he has started back to school ends. So we're on large circles at the moment. So, I mean, that from, you know, being so severely affected and such a, a big horse to be, you know, back to conditioning work within yeah. sort of what, eight to 10 weeks, eight, really? Yeah, it's amazing, really. Yeah. Yeah, the farrier in particular was quite amazed and he said the only thing different that had been included in this rehab plan to what they normally do was the laser. So mm -hmm. whether it would be as successful in all horses, I don't know, but in this case it has worked considerably well. So.